In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily move your Active Directory Vismo roles to a new domain controller using PowerShell. To start, I'm logged on to my primary domain controller and I'm going to run PowerShell. The full list of commands used in this video will be listed in the description below. In the PowerShell window, I'm just going to confirm which server is uh, running the Vismo roles currently. So to do that, we can do uh, net dom query fsmo. And this returns uh, which uh, servers are running our schema master, domain naming master, PDC, RID, and infrastructure master. So currently they're all running on DC01. Before we want to move them, we just need to check a couple of bits with Active Directory and just make sure that it is uh, replicating correctly and there's no errors. So the first command we'll want to run is the rep admin slash repel summary. When we run this, it tells us um, our source DSAs and destination DSAs, as well as the times, and more importantly, if there are any failures. And in this example, there are zero failures. If this comes back with some failures, uh, you need to investigate while your Active Directory uh, is not replicating correctly, and identify what the problem is and fix it. The next command is uh, rep admin slash show repo. What this does, this um, checks the replication status between all of the main controllers. And ideally you're looking for the last attempt was successful. Uh, if you do find any failures, uh, you need to look into your active directory and figure out why they aren't successful. And then the final one is just checking the queue to make sure that there is nothing in the queue. So if we do rep admin slash queue and the queue contains zero items. Now we've done that, we can clear the screen and get to moving the roles. Now, the easiest way to do it is to use one command that moves all of them to a destination server. So in the first example, I'll show you how to move them all at once, and then I'll go on to show you how to move individual roles. So what you want to do is run this command, which is move ad directory server operations master role dash identity, and then the name of the server which you want to move the roles to then operation master role and then 01234 the 1234 represent each of the roles so it's the pdc emulator then the rid then the infrastructure master then the schema master then the domain naming master so when we run this it will say do you want to move the role pdc emulator to dc02 now what you can do is you can do press a and then enter and that will stop any more prompts and move all five of the services or you can do the one by one by pressing y so this will move the pdc emulator first then the rid master so we'll do y again then the infrastructure master do y again now the schema master y again and then the domain naming master y again so after we've done this we can run net dom query fsmo and when this returns back the results they should all say dc02 which they do so that's moved all of them so what if we wanted to just move one so what we can do is run this same command again and instead of dc02 i'm going to move them back to dc01 so i'll just change the identity and then all you need to do is type in the name of the role with no space so first we will move the pdc emulator and then enter and it will say do we want to move the pdc emulator to server dc01 we can do y for yes enter and then do a net dom query fsmo and now we can see that our uh, pdc which is the one we moved is on dc01 and all of the others are still on dc02 so you can do this with all of them so uh, we'll do the uh, rid master and then yes then we'll do the infrastructure master then yes then we can do the schema master and then yes and then we can do the um, domain naming master and then yes 
and then a net DOM query FSMO just to see that they have all indeed been moved back to DC01. Normally in a production environment, you wouldn't want to move them around back and forth so quickly. And if the reason you're moving them is to demote uh, the domain controller they are currently running on, ideally what you do is move it and then leave it for a few days just to make sure that everything does move and it has all gone smoothly and then decommission uh, the old domain controller after a couple of days just so you can make sure that everything is replicated. If you want, you could uh, rerun some of the replication commands. I'll just copy these back out. So we, we can see that there are still no failures. And um, has this actually run? Yes, yeah, so it ran a couple of seconds ago and it was successful. And I can't see any errors in here. And the queue is at zero. That is how you move your FISMO roles to a new Active Directory domain controller.